Hi students, welcome to class. Prepare the following before we start. Your module, your pen, and paper. Our lesson for today is about phrases, clauses, and sentences. This is the concept of our lesson. Phrases, clauses, and sentences are the most important structural units of language. They provide structure and meaning to almost all the languages. Now, let us discuss each of them. Phrase any group of meaningful words that don't make complete sense is a phrase. Let us have examples. In 10 steps, a pink flower, the great man. Our examples are a group of words, but if you will notice, this group of words don't express any meaning. There are different types of phrases that we can find in a sentence. These are prepositional phrase, noun phrase, and verb phrase. We will now discuss each type of phrases. Prepositional phrase. This group of words begin with a preposition. The preposition precedes a noun or a pronoun or something which acts as a noun or a pronoun. have this example. She was lost at sea. In this sentence, the prepositional phrase is at sea because it starts with the preposition at. Always remember that a prepositional phrase starts with a preposition with all the words that follows it. Another example, I am writing this essay for the entire class. The prepositional phrase in this sentence is for the entire class. It is a prepositional phrase because it starts with a preposition for and all the words that follows it. discuss noun phrase. This is a phrase that acts as a noun in a sentence. A noun or a pronoun and its modifiers make up a noun phrase.
example, the man takes a bus every day to work. In this sentence, our noun phrase is a bus every day to work. It is a noun phrase because it is preceded by a noun with all the words that follows it. Another example, Arif has a very beautiful bag with him. The noun phrase in this sentence is a very beautiful bag with him. It is considered as a noun phrase because it consists of a noun and all the words that follows it. Let us have the last type of phrase which is the verb phrase. This phrase will contain a main verb and one or more helping verb. These two will have a link that connects them together. Example, the car is moving in a circle. In this sentence, the verb phrase is moving. It is a verb phrase because it consists of a linking verb and the main verb. The linking verb is and the main verb moving. Another example, will he be eating the entire buffet? In this sentence, the verb phrase is be eating. It is a verb phrase because it consists of a linking verb be and the main verb eating. Another example, how are you doing? In this sentence, the verb phrase is are you doing? It is a verb phrase because it consists of a linking verb are and the main verb doing. Let us discuss about clause. A clause is also a group of words, but this group must contain the subject and a predicate. Example, I have a dog. The snow is falling since yesterday. Our examples shows group of words that contains a subject and a predicate. In our first example, the subject is I and the predicate is have a dog. In the second example, the subject is the snow and the predicate is falling since yesterday.
there are two types of clauses the main or independent clause and the subordinate or dependent clause. Let us explain further each one of them. Main or independent clause. The main clause is that part of a sentence that does not only contains the subject and the predicate, but also makes perfect sense if we take it out of the sentence. Example, China is growing at a very fast rate and this has surprised many economists. In this sentence, we have two main or independent clause. The first one is China is growing at a very fast rate and the other one is this has surprised many economists. Why are these considered as independent clauses? Because if we take out China is growing at a very fast rate from the sentence, it will still express a complete thought. Same as with this has surprised many economists. Now, let's talk about subordinate or dependent clause. A subordinate or a dependent clause cannot stand alone. It depends on the main clause for deriving a proper meaning. have this example. After I studied my lesson, I got high score in the test. In this sentence, the dependent clause is after I studied my lesson. It is a dependent clause because if you take it out from the sentence, it will not stand alone, which means it will not express any sense or meaning. It will depend on the main clause, I got high score in the test to express a complete thought. Another example. Because I forgot to bring my cell phone, I was not able to text my mother. In this sentence, the dependent clause is because I forgot to bring my cell phone. This is a dependent clause because it does not make any sense if you take it out from the sentence. It will depend on the main clause, I was not able to text my mother to express a sense or a meaning. Let's talk about sentence. A sentence is a collection of words that contains a subject and a predicate. It could be a command, a statement, an exclamation, or a question. 
It begins with a capital letter and ends full stop. Take note. What is the difference between a sentence and an independent clause? Both of them contain a subject and a predicate. And both of them express a complete thought. But always remember that an independent clause is always enclosed or a part of a sentence. The main parts of a sentence are subjects and predicates. Subject about which something is being said. Or what is the sentence all about? Predicates tell something about the subject. It adds information about the subject. Wait here. Put it on. Come on. These are still considered a sentence because they express a complete meaning or thought. Although they start with a verb, it is still considered that the subject is you. Another example, I am a very strong person, but I also need to know more. This is a sentence because it expresses a complete thought and it ends with a full stop or a period. Another example, my mother is at work so I need to go home early. Again, this is a sentence because it expresses a complete thought and it ends with a period or a full stop. a lesson recap. We learned about phrase, clause, and sentence. Any group of meaningful words that don't make complete sense is a phrase. A clause is also a group of words, but this group must contain the subject and a predicate. And a sentence is a collection of words that contains a subject and a predicate. We also learn 
that there are three types of phrases. The prepositional phrase, the verb phrase, and the noun phrase. And we also learned that there are two kinds of clauses. The main or independent clause and the subordinate or dependent clause. And we also learned that a sentence starts with a capital letter and ends with a period or a full stop. Thank you for watching! Click subscribe here at Picture Wifi.